So, you want to put yourself in a big CGI cyberpunk environment, but you don't have any lights to light yourself. Let's figure that out. To begin this effect, I'm going to first set up my Blender scene. To make the city, I'll be using this procedural city generator called Cyberscape Pro from the Blender Market. It's really awesome and you should definitely check it out if you haven't. Another cool thing about Cyberscape's Pro is that there is a collection where you can simply import in images and videos to be scattered around as billboards. You just have to select that collection and then import images as planes. And since I'm going for that Blade Runner 2049 vibe, for my billboards I decided to import in just photos of Ryan Gosling. Now that I've got the city looking good, I've got to make that rooftop that I'm standing on. All I did was add a new plane, I hit G to move it, and then place it outside of the city. Then S to scale it up. And that is all the modelling done. To texture it, I got these metal panels from ProductionCrate.com and just applied them to the plane. Next up, I have to add the railing, and it was just a model from Sketchfab.com. I brought the model into my scene and applied its textures. I then used an array modifier to duplicate the railing out. And now it is time to actually film the footage. I just whipped out my green screen and placed it against my garage door. Then stood there and filmed a bunch of angles of myself, trying to look really cinematic. Okay, with the footage filmed, it is time to re-light it. And to do that, I'm going to be using this AI program called Switchlight Studio. It is currently free, you just have to join their Discord. To use this program, we need to have a keyed out image sequence of our green screen footage. So I'm going to open up HitFilm Pro, which is my compositor of choice, although you might use After Effects or whatever. And I'm going to do a quick mask around my subject and then key out the green. I will then export this footage as a PNG sequence with an alpha channel. Opening up Switchlight Studio, what we're looking for is the material extraction. Then I'm going to select my input image directory, which is the folder where I stored my image sequence. I will then specify the output directory, extract. Once that's all done, you'll find a new folder on your computer with all of the extracted materials in. Now we can go back into Blender and import our footage. Let's once again use the Images as Planes add-on to import the albedo image texture. Is it albedo or albedo? Or am I saying it wrong both times? Anyway, let's go to the Shader tab. From here, we can import the rest of the extracted materials just like we would with any other 3D model making sure to have the normal, the roughness, and the specular all be non-colour. What's really cool is that when we switch over to the rendered view, we can see that the environmental lights actually light our footage. To emphasise this effect, I'm going to add a point light and make it red, and place it over to the left of me. Now we have some cool red edge lighting. I will also duplicate this point light, and move it over to the right, and make it blue. Now, this use of AI is pretty cool, but it still has some limitations. For example, it makes faces look very smooth and plastic-like, but it works really well for back angles and when the lighting is really dark, like this. In compositing, I'll add in this footage of flying cars from ProductionCrate.com. I will also put in some smoke stock footage, just to add some extra movement. So yeah, that is how you put yourself in a CG cyberpunk environment without the use of lots of fancy lighting equipment. Thanks for watching, see ya.